Hi, today I wanted to talk about light mold remediation, specifically about contents and light mold formation on semi-porous surfaces. Now, you probably know Dutrion as a disinfectant. You probably also know it as an odor mitigant. But what I want to show you is an example here of how it can be used for contents and, like I said, these semi-porous surfaces that might be structural in nature. So to begin with, I want to go through a two-step process that you should use anytime you're thinking about remediation. The first step is cleaning the substrate. The second step is disinfecting the substrate. I've made this solution at 400 parts per million, which if you're using it in a quart is going to be um, four grams. So either four one gram tablets or just a four gram tablet. Um, but if you're using something larger, for example, like the pump sprayer, you can use four four gram tablets or simply a 20 gram tablet in the 1.2 gallon um, mixture. If you're familiar with the pump sprayer, it has 1.2 gallon increments on the side. So let's go ahead and use this on this old um, uh, golf bag. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm simply going to wet out the surface as we normally would with Dutrion. And Tucker, I'm sure you can kind of get an idea of that surface. And I'm just using a, a rag here to remove any soil load. Um, go ahead, Tucker, and zoom in right here as well. Let me know when you're zoomed in, you're good. Okay, so as you can, we can see here, we've just got you know, quite a bit of mold formation. It's just light mold on the surface. I'm gonna allow that to just dwell for, let's just say 60 seconds, because that's our dwell time on Dutrion. And then we just unfold this, come back. I'm just going to go straight down this insert here. And then the last thing that I would do is because for disinfection it's a one minute dwell time, once the surface is clean, right, whether we're talking out here or here, you know, wherever it might be, then I'm going to simply come back and apply that so that you've got one wet contact time of one minute and I'm going to walk away, okay? nothing else to do so think of you know any remedial process as create a clean substrate to begin with and, and as you can see Dutran can be used as a cleaner and then come back and for a one minute dwell time which you know has to do with how you wet out the surface spray it on the surface walk away the great thing about Dutran is it doesn't create any uh, film on the surface no residue all right let's step over here now this is an um, old tabletop that I was going to turn into a desk and simply haven't done it yet. I'm going to do it. Um, but let's go ahead and walk through the same steps here. It's very similar. And um, one of the things that you might see is you know, when you are dealing inter with interior spaces, think about walls, moldings, doors, anything that's almost contents related or indoors or even structure where you have light mold formation like this on the surface, this is a great example for you of how you can use Dutrion for that light mold um, removal. Now, the reason I call this light mold, you might look at this and go, well, there's quite a bit of mold on there. What I'm referring to is that it's not deeply embedded into the substrate itself, right? It's sitting proud of the substrate, so this is very easy to remove. It doesn't take a lot of surfactancy, peroxides, things of that nature to get into those pores and pull it out of the substrate. So let's just go ahead and start here. And I'm just going to go wet the surface and soil load out completely. If you're not familiar, when I'm talking about soil load, what I mean is everything that's on the surface, right? So that is the mold itself or any other residue that could be um, preventing the surface from being clean and dust free, all right? So once that's done, again, I'm using Dutrion right now as the cleaner. Now we can go and wipe these surfaces free from the mold. Okay, and are you zoomed in a little bit there, Tucker, so you can yes. see that surface? All right, so now we've got a clean substrate, okay, and maybe you can see, let me know if that looks good, okay? Now I'm just going to, of course, turn my, well, I don't even need to do that, because all that I'm going to do is now apply Dutrion back to 
this surface, and again, we're looking for a one minute dwell time, right? As an EPA registered product, dwell time has everything to do with its efficacy in terms of log rate, right? This is a six log rate at one minute dwell time to give you your fungicidal, sporicidal, viricidal, bactericidal claims. So there you go. I hope that's effective in helping you understand um, both Dutreon as a cleaner and Dutreon as a disinfectant, and more than that, how effective it is in removing uh, light mold from substrates, whether they're porous like this golf bag or whether they're semi-porous like this wood, which would also be representative of construction material. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, and we look forward to working with you.